Ayo, what's up guys? Yay, yay. What up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the John Podcast. Today is a K hip hop related topic we're talking about today, but today I got a new guest, one of my buddies. Tommy is in the house, so let's bring him in. Yo, what up? My name's Tommy. Yo, yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah Tommy. Yeah, so Tommy is like probably like the only friend I have that. Uh, is into K hip hop as much as much as I am, so I felt like he was like the right person to talk about this topic, and I also have another topic coming soon about some other topic. But today, as you can see by the title, we're talking about the latest news in the K hip hop world, which is Doki has returned with the song called Culture, and he has a, like even before he came back, I was wondering where he went because when Illinois first broke up. I was like, so like, what does Doki do now? Because I knew he moved to LA, um, but I didn't really hear much music from him or anything from any, from him. And he got rid of his uh, Instagram account for a bit. But yeah. Oh, actually, before we do that, I got to do the the John, which is uh, every every episode. I try to get a new drink, but today I'm the only one drinking alcohol today because. Tommy doesn't want to drink with me oh, today. I just got water. All right, so. Or it was today, a protein shake, now it's a water. <laughs> All right, so today I got so, Arcus, Arcus Pilsner. Uh, uh, this is something I found at the liquor store. It's like, cool, let's try it. Nice. Um, so got to do my, usually, I don't know if you guys do this when you open a beer or a can. I got to tap the, the top, get rid of the bubbles. And then a little bit of ASMR. All right, you ready? Let's go. Cheers. Uh, buddy. How's it? It's not as good as the one I had yesterday, <laughs> but it's still good. I used to, when I was a kid, I used to, or not a kid, but when I first started drinking beer, I didn't like the taste. Like I would be able to taste like a cheap beer and rather than a, like a more expensive beer. Oh. But now like beer just kind of tastes like beer. Sometimes you get a little a citrusy taste to the beer and sometimes like it just tastes like normal. This one kind of tastes a little bit normal, but I, I still like, like it. I just like Corona. That's the only one I can drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you put the lime in the, yeah, in the Corona, Corona lime. That's pretty much the only beer I'll, I can drink if I do drink. Yeah, so let me talk about the guest a little bit because it's been a while since we've talked because I really met Tommy through K-Hip-Hop, really, because I think the first time oh, we yeah. met, we went to, was it G2? Yeah, G2 Ready. I, I think I, I messaged you. Yeah, I messaged yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah on so, Facebook. yeah, on Facebook, I think there was this group chat where, like, people, I don't even know how, how we found each oh, other. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was, like, a Facebook, like, the Facebook event yeah 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 and i don't know and, if you posted uh, something saying saying like you're asking people if you want to like come together or something yeah i think okay. so i think i i've made a post and then yeah. tommy messaged back and it's like yo let's do it so he came yeah. through and we went to our first i mean actually i went to my yeah. first k-hip-hop concert and then after that we became pretty good friends i feel like every time we meet we have a lot to say about k-hip-hop and stuff so we have a lot of oh, yeah. catching up and Today, we're like so, so we're like we're like pen pals too we don't we don't yeah, yeah. In the same like place, yeah so. Sure. Yeah. yeah so every time we meet it's always a good time because yeah i feel like we end up talking for a long time so if this episode goes on for a long time you guys are but podcast is supposed to go long so yeah we'll see usually the duration doesn't really matter but hopefully you guys will enjoy this episode um but yeah i have done a separate video where i talked about uh, Doki coming back and all that, but I wanted to talk more because first I wanted to know another person's perspective about him coming back and stuff because a lot of the new generation now, they don't even know who Doki is, which is kind of really surprising to me. Um, but I made a post or a poll, uh, before Doki came back and I was like, yo, who is excited for Doki to come back? And then one of the posts was like, do you guys know him? And then 50% said they didn't know who Doki was. So 
I need to make these videos to freaking educate the K hip hop fans nowadays because they need to know who this guy is. And um, sorry, my chair is like really squeaky, so that's why there's a lot of squeaking <laughs> going on. Um, but yeah, um, Tommy, do you got some input so far? You wanna you wanna chime in? I'm. I don't know. Would you consider Doki that like? I wouldn't say it's like old, but like he's not. I don't think he's old at all. But not not, like, not age age wise, but like oh, in terms of like the Korean music. Wait. Yeah, yeah. The way yeah, I guess like the wave and trends. Yeah. I mean, I tech, I, I could. do see that because he hasn't been making music for yeah a couple, over a year couple now. Of years now. Yeah. So he's kind of like fallen off, and then his sub label, which was an ambition, is like popping off. Changmo's like one of the biggest yeah stars. Chang-Mo's like, yeah so um but big ups to doki because him and the quiet started that that illinois ambitions yeah he does have credit for that and i think changmo and hash swan and all those illinois ambition guys always shout out doki whenever something happens Mm -hmm. yeah i'm sure they're so i'm sure they're so all good friends yeah like old school old school k-pop fans you guys should know doki new school fans go listen to his music because you guys are missing out yeah I think yeah i think these days it's kind of like all the high sc- high school rapper guys mm, and then yeah, i guess yeah. the new new waves you know like i guess like kid millie people like yeah, that yeah. i guess kind of yeah like Ch- changmo i would say yeah. is probably like the most popular out of everyone right now i would say out of ambition yeah yeah no no like out of like, it, like, korean hip-hop yeah you think changmo i would up? say yeah i'm sure he's because, up there because i I know Palo Alto is still making music with yeah, highlight, still, but like, I don't think whenever, I, popular. whenever I see views of their music videos that he comes out with, there's like no views. Yeah. Even though he's like, he's also like one of the creators, I would say of K hip hop with him and Doki and stuff, but he doesn't really get that many views. Uh, but I think most of his views are from Korea, Korean fans. And even like the quiet, when he, he had a song, he came out with Bentley too. Um, oh yeah yamda. yeah and he then they yamda and the choir are now having like this label now i don't know what it's called but they signed a bunch of people that sound like ash island um uh, to that label so i i look forward to see how they do because i mean the people in there in Who's that in label again um so s- there's a guy called skinny brown i know and, the futuristic uh, swaver yeah guy. swaver guy like yeah him. so that's why i say because a lot of them kind of sound like ash island i have a little like. auto-tune yeah yeah and then i think uh ash island is like in a crew with them with those guys like because he has a thing called pablo music and i think a couple of those guys are in pablo music with ash island so um yeah but yeah i don't really know if doki is getting credit right now like in in this k K hip-hop phase that we're in right now in this generation but he definitely needs it because he he's needs to be remembered he's like the goat oh yeah definitely say. like he really popped off from like what show me the money like, like when they did oh, um because they back in the day they had a their yggr song one song of the year that yeah, year that was like and i think that's when they were going they started going up yeah um but then i think after doki left like Illinois started going down, but then Illinois Ambition was going up because yeah. the new stars were, were in town. So, yeah, the younger guys. And then, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, did you watch, um, what, what was that guy's name? Uh, Dumbfounded? His yeah, podcast? Did. did you watch one yes. of them on it? Yeah. Yeah. I, I used to watch Do- or Dumbfounded's podcast a lot because a lot of the rappers go on his podcast and not yeah. anyone else's, which is kind of dope because they speak English. So, I mean, me and Tom can understand, at least I can. Yeah. Um, so um, it, it was cool to see what Doki was talking about. And yeah. I, I kind of ex- talked a bit about this in the talk video, not this podcast, but another talk video that I did not too long ago about Doki. And he was like, why he went to LA and why he stopped like going to Korea, like making music in yeah. Korea. He just, he just lost ambition, I guess. Or, I think or, he just kind of got burnt out. You know? Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. He just yeah. kind of. Don't think he really yeah, ever break. got like a break. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I went there, but I don't know. Cause I think he might have a visa. So he might have to go back to Korea some, sometime, but right now he looks kind of 
stable there and he actually i didn't mention this in my other video but he signed to an american label called last kings which is uh, american rapper taiga he's the founder of the label so i'm look forward to see how they he makes music with the other american artists doki mm -hmm. uh, i looked forward to see what a taiga and doki song would sound like because yeah they kind of sound uh, similar so i don't know it'd be nice yeah so yeah i just i wanted to bring on a fellow k-hip-hop fan to talk about this um situation situation or this topic comeback yeah comeback yeah doki comeback mm -hmm. yeah I don't, know, I don't know if there's any news about him releasing a full i'm sure there's probably an album coming out he said there's like a he he's a, he has an album coming out yeah this isn't just the i hope this isn't just the only song he comes out with no, and sure. he goes back to in the in the undercover but he should make music because he's signed with a, na a label now oh yeah, Last then, yeah. kind of has to now <laughs> mm -hmm. so even in, even in his uh uh geez what's this song called um culture song there's like a verse something about like oh, i forgot what it's something like oh i don't diss i make full tracks al albums or yeah, something yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so I, he in the song he mentioned last kings i didn't really know what that meant at the time but now i know but i thought last kings meant like you know like k-hip-hop he's like the like the one of the founders of k-hip-hop so like king and then the last called, kings is like yeah makes sense kind of related to that yeah i didn't know it was a label until i looked more into it um and kind of cycling off another really weird signing that i i we found out about was swings signed to paint p nation Jeez. Which is, I feel like it's a really big move. Like I saw this on my Instagram, like Sai was eating with Sai and then Sai gave swings like a contract he was signing. And I was like, I was at work at this yeah. time and I like, I showed it really loud. It was nuts. So I, I thought it was just trolling. I saw the picture first. I thought it was trolling too. But yeah. Like the hell. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, I guess it's legit. Yeah. So, so I guess what happens with like Indigo and all that. I think they're like combined now or something or maybe it's just swings that's that's yeah. with um yeah like who's gonna be the new kind of leader i guess hmm. i think uh, i don't know if any like, boy. Swings ever talked about like retiring but uh, i mm -hmm. think jay park mentioned a lot about retiring soon in, yeah in this in this field I but mean, i don't i hope he doesn't because he's still making a lot of really good music the higher red tape and blue tape yeah I'm sure so he's wanna, just saying that. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, financially, yeah, I'm sure he could retire, but like, hmm. you know. He's still young, I think. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He's in, yeah. J Park is like early, mid 30s. Yeah. He's, I think he's younger than Doki. So, yeah, yeah I think he's still got a lot left in the tank. I mm -hmm. think maybe he is getting, starting to get burnt out too. Yeah. Because yeah, he's yeah. also with a, an American label too, with Jay Z's label, Rock Nation. So, and I haven't really seen much with Rock Nation and Jay Park lately. So, um, yeah, Jay Park's, yeah, he's been like hustling the last, I don't know, five years at least. Yeah, his uh, Higher Music won Label of the Year this year in oh, yeah. K Hip Hop Awards or whatever. Yeah. And I didn't really pay much. Well, so. I know, I just heard uh, DPR Live people or fans are mad from that i actually i haven't really got into dpr no? la, la, okay. dpr that 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 crew i just when they first dropped dpr live and g2 was on the song a little bit and kim hyoen oh, okay by the name of the song but that was like one of their first songs that kind of blew up that i heard of mm -hmm. and after that i didn't really listen to that that crew very much but they're i think they're pretty popular too yeah i mean i think internationally in korea yeah mm. yeah do i don't really you, know much you, about them yeah so if you guys are dpr fans let us know in the comments because i'm not and i don't yeah. think tommy is either <laughs> nope i have so, like one of their songs but i don't even know what it's called <laughs> yeah one of their spo yeah. songs on spotify yeah so um yeah what else uh, about doki here Okay. Oh yeah, so the the song that they, that he did, culture. So yeah. I was messaging you kind of privately, and you were saying you weren't feeling the song too much. Oh, I, I like it now. You like it now? <laughs> I think for I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm weird with songs. I think there's like 
th- this lost the songs that I listened to at first is like, eh, whatever. And then might listen to it just, you know, just to give it another chance. And usually like the second and third time that's when it's like, oh, okay, this is a pretty good song. Yeah. I like some it. Some songs are like that with me too. Like there'll be a song sometimes right when I listen to the first couple beats, I would yeah. like it already. Yeah. But sometimes it takes a couple listens for me to actually enjoy the song. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's a lot of people is like that. But I think when I first like heard that boom bap sound from Doki, mm-hmm. I kind of got I kind of got where like he was coming from with that return song because like he's trying to like actually spit some real facts and boom bap tracks are, are kind of perfect for that. Yeah, and he didn't really have like a uh, like a no a hook, but he had a hook, but he didn't have like a chorus. Yeah, so he kind of like just like wrapped for four minutes straight which is something that i like about doki that not many people do mm-hmm. yeah that's true yeah that's true doki doesn't have any songs or he does the hooks really right mm-hmm. Most of his songs unless he has a feature rapping. yeah i guess it's a feature yeah, yeah it doesn't even really need a feature to be honest he can mm-hmm. really do anything i i'm waiting for the day i kind of said this in my my talking video like the separate video that i did like is i don't know if he's ever done this but doki did like a, the the singing rap style like the oh. new generation kind of kind of kind of I, I feel like rap. i don't know i feel like him i don't think he'd i mean like the quiet kind of did it some of the songs so i don't know maybe yeah. you might i don't know just to like just to just to get the new generation to know who he is just yeah to just to change like it up that. yeah yeah because that's something i haven't heard him do but because he's always doing like the hard-hitting rap stuff so yeah you know, I feel like it people. might not be his style, but I mean, there's, I feel like there's lots of guys. Yeah. Like the quiet, you wouldn't expect it. Mm-hmm. And doesn't, um, I don't listen to Kim, uh, Hyo in much, but did, didn't, isn't his recent label or his, uh, his recent album. He has like a few like kind of singing songs. Uh, I haven't really, I don't really follow Kim Hyo. Yeah. Same much, here. But, but I, I think do I'll, like that. He's got that deep, deep voice, which is yeah. pretty unique. But and even like, like Nafla and his like, Latest, I think his latest yeah. album. He had a couple of kind of like you know singing songs. What did he come out with the? Pretty good. Oh, do you mean like the? No, it's like a year ago now. The uh, he the had new, two parts, right? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. you knew one or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, like, I also want to talk about make it rain it. too, but like in oh, a yeah? separate kind of video because yeah. that can be an entire thing in itself, like an oh, entire yeah, podcast yeah. in itself. But to to kind of talk about Nafa, another weird signing that I thought was him signing to Groovelin, which is Ravi's label, which I didn't even expect him to sign there because um, obviously Make It Rain had that whole weed thing. And I was like, Make It Rain was just getting popular and I feel like that weed thing just kind of yeah. tore them down. And they were just, yeah. Like, Derailed them, yeah. Yeah, they just were off, like show me the money or something. They started making like i guess money and like started getting a lot more popular and then oh yeah they had that thing and i feel like it was only i don't remember who was actually the ones that were doing doing the the weed thing but i feel like that uh that one guy that really tall dude the young west yeah i feel like it was the tall him. Dude? i feel like it was him that was doing the the weed thing but yeah well did they all do it or I'm sure they all did. I, it. I, I, <laughs> I didn't really look into what happened. Yeah, I just knew it happened. And then Owen overdose was on Show Me the Money at the time, yeah. and then he got he got blurred out, which I felt yeah. like it, it was like his kind of his season for Show Me the Money, even though it's yeah. been there for like pretty much the whole like every nine year. seasons. Yeah, so, every year. Yeah. Yep, Owen, and I know like didn't I think the quiet liked them a lot. I think it's him and the something about him in the quiet. And I don't know oh, about yeah. Doki too. Yeah. I think back mm-hmm. in Show Me the Money three, they they really because it's a couple of songs oh, of Owen. Three. Yeah, like there's a couple of songs where they he caught they kind of uh what you call like shout out each other. Like some of the really old songs. So I think they really like them. Yeah, I think yeah. Owen is really good with on Boom Bat tracks. Oh yeah, definitely. I haven't really heard I have a couple of songs on my Spotify playlist. Yeah, but I haven't really done because he came up with a song recently too. I think. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't listen to that one. Okay, neither have I. Yeah, and I, I Loopy also had a, a album he came out with a while ago, and I was planning to react to it live. But oh, I the big one. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that, that's not, a good one. 
not reacting to it. So I'll probably just listen to the songs on my own. Yeah. Um, that you Yu, Yu, Yuzion girl, she has been one of Loopy's songs. Oh yeah, she's good. I like her. A song I've heard. And Yuzion is not even a part of what Young and Rich anymore. No, and sure. twelve too. I feel like they actually never mix. Like it never mixed. I felt like, like the styles they're, they're it never stuck. Yeah, meshed together. I would say so, yeah, that was a weird like signing. But I think they made some good tracks. I feel like their Dingo, their Dingo songs were pretty. Yeah, that pretty, one song's pretty good. Yeah. good. yeah. So, and then now I made a whole entire video about Young and Rich too, like being like the next label to come up. And then yeah. they freaking did this <laughs> thing. And then two, two of guys. my favorite guys that I like left, or people that the artists that I like. And yeah. now they signed these uh, Row Forty Four. I don't even know who these guys are. Apparently, the the three duo, uh, the trio homies apparently they're they're doing pretty good but i haven't heard much from them mm -hmm. except for that that one guy chin this is his name um way shed i uh, did a song with jay park it's called riders and i think yeah. this is like a promotion thing but chin was one of the people in the song and he sounded pretty good he sounded like uh i would say like a uneducated kid kind of style See, but, yeah. I guess I got really off topic. <laughs> yeah, why not really? Yeah, this, like, is what yeah. this is what happens when we, me and Tommy talk. You know, we always yeah. get sidetracked into another topic, other K, K hip hop topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. I guess talking about Doki Hess. How did you? Um, or I guess you you were into K pop first, right? Mm -hmm. And then K hip hop. Yeah, so I was a fan of like hip hop, like American hip hop, like yeah. That. But then it wasn't until I heard about Illinois till I started liking hip K hip hop. Or oh, okay, I I saw their their uh, performance with Bobby on in the Mama Awards. Oh yeah, time. after yeah, and then I started looking into Show Me the Money Three. Ah, okay. Bobby in gotcha. it. Yeah, and then I started getting into that kind of phase. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I see. But. When I was listening to K-pop, I, I really only, when I first started listening, I only listened to girl groups for some reason. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I was, yeah. I was like boy and girl groups. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. after a while, like I started listening to boy groups too, which I like listen to everything with that's Korean. Now, mm -hmm. like ballad songs, I love like even trot songs that Korean artists make. There's this one Hong Jin Young, who's like a really good, really good artist. But yeah, that's that was my path to K hip hop. Like I went to oh, K pop okay. and then K hip hop. But I was a fan of hip hop, like English yeah, American or North American. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, what about you? How I got? Yeah, I knew a bit about him before I really got. You know, um, J Park before Ilya, no, before what you call it, a AOMG before higher music, like two p.m. Yeah, or after two p.m. Like after he left, oh all yeah. That, so he when, went when he solo. went solo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he, I think he had a few like albums. And I know during that time he was friends with Doki. Like they yeah, were, yeah. They he was trying together. to. He was trying to. I think he wanted to join sign her. to Illinois. He wanted yeah. to join Illinois, but like Doki, Doki was like, "Yo, you're good enough to be to create yeah. your own label. You don't need to be with us." Yeah. So I think yeah. So I think when Jay Park was doing his own thing by himself, yeah, he had a few. Like I was doing songs. And I think there were a few that Doki featured in. Mm -hmm. which i liked and i know um like when listening to k-pop K like the boy and girl groups mm -hmm. like i i guess for me I, na I i guess i naturally like rap so i usually always enjoyed the rap parts mm -hmm. of like k-pop songs boy and girl uh, yeah, groups. Yeah, yeah so yeah so like i guess j Bar did rap and i guess sing in his album solo songs mm -hmm. but then when doki comes in a rap i forgot what song it was but i think there was like one album where like doki featured in like one or two of them mm -hmm. and that was like my favorite song by the time I still only like K-pop, so I didn't really care about like looking into them for a reason. Right. Yeah. And then later on, I guess like, I guess I got more, I, f I guess discovered him again when, yeah, show me the money three. Yeah. Cause I got, did you watch money. that mama performance? Um, I th I'm sure, I'm sure I did. Um, actually maybe a little bit after. Cause like, I guess when showing the money three was like, I watched it, uh, I guess you can say live. Like I watched it when they yeah, were, yeah, it was airing, yeah. right? So, yeah, yeah. And I guess I was kind of on the bandwagon, bandwagon of like, 
I guess I was like a K K pop rapper. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I was a K pop rapper, like yeah. hater. Yeah. No, I was oh, a hater. hater. I, was, I, I was I was on like Ulti's team. I him like oh, dissing yeah. Bi and Bobby. You like it? But yeah, but then, but then at the same okay. time, I was like, but I, I always liked rap. Like I always liked rap guys in in, in K-pop songs. But I don't yeah. know why. I just I don't know. Maybe just I do like Ulti too. So maybe just Ulti style and all that. And I just thought you know dissing people and all that was cool. So yeah. I did like like Ulti more than like Bobby and Bi and all that. Hmm. And then yeah, then I guess so. Two and three was when I really got into it. And then since you know, Doki and Quiet were the two judges. I really yeah. I like them, yeah. And then you started getting more into K hip hop and other exactly, yeah. Artists. That was like yeah. that really started it. Yeah, that was during were, their YGGR days and yeah, yeah, who chains and rollies and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. I used to listen to those songs a lot, yeah. like yeah. on repeat. Yeah, uh, I used to have YGGR as my my alarm clock ringtone. Alarm? <laughs> oh, I have one. Oh, what was it? It was a song. I had one. Of, it was my wake. My yeah, my alarm too. It was um yeah. I forgot what it's called, but it's like a, it's Doki, the quiet, and I think like Vasco and Swings kind of featuring on it, or the other way around. Oh, it's like a it's just like music like, song, like, oh, but with it's not it's Don, called. like the oh yeah, I mean, it might have been Don, track. yeah, the remix one. I think the yeah, remix, yeah. right? That's that Doki yeah. and yeah, I think it was that one. Yeah, so talking yeah. about actually, show me, show me the money three. Did you agree that Bobby was the winner of the show? <sighs> or, Honestly, I don't think I even I didn't finish watching it for a reason. Oh. That was when Did I first you watch started the university. Performances, though, I think I watched maybe until quarter or semifinals. Hmm. Yeah, I, I know because I don't even know who was in the final. I guess obviously Bobby because he won. But was it Vasco in the finals? And or Iger, C-Gem? Iger, Iger. I, oh, he was. Yeah, oh, that it was Vasco him was. and uh, Bobby and Iron. Oh, geez. Bobby beat Vasco in semifinals, and then C Jam, I guess, lost to Iron. Oh. Probably. Yeah, C Jam and yeah, I think C Jam went yeah. somewhat far. Yeah, yeah. Or Ulti, maybe. Yeah, Ulti freaking lost. He yeah. lost. Well, he beat he Bi early. Yeah, yeah. after yeah. Bi, he yeah, they, lost. Yeah. But um, no, I wasn't really a big fan of Bobby's, but even now, but I, I well, I don't listen to his music, so I don't really know. But at the time, he has he has a he has a second full album. Yeah, which he has a song called "You Mad." Uh, is he even in his K-pop? Is he still in his yeah, K-pop of course. group? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, just like hot, like Bi had the he had a weed, weed scandal as well, so oh, he yeah, was kind of like forced to leave the group. Yeah, so he's not a part of that group. But he recently started his own label. Uh, Bi, yeah, one yeah, three okay. one label, I think it's called. Okay, and uh, he's had he has three songs so far, and they're actually pretty good. So I would recommend interesting but they're not like your hard-hitting rap they're kind of like yeah. talking about what he went through and stuff like yeah there's some singing stuff that he does and some some stuff where he does rap but mm-hmm. like not as hard-hitting as like bobby yeah yeah okay yeah i think ever since show me the money three i didn't really follow much k-pop anymore so yeah, yeah. uh so i would say you yeah. wouldn't think that bobby was was the winner of show money show me the money three then yeah well i didn't listen to any like i don't remember listening like after the quarter or semifinal so i wouldn't know okay. but i i do remember like at the time yeah, i was i was i was like a bobby hater i guess yeah so you were one of those people that was like i like the k-pop rap yeah pretty much rappers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah i like old but you're a k-pop rapper fan though i know which is weird i don't know why <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you know what like i think my favorite you know uh i'm black yeah 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 like i like amir the maknae yeah that, i used yeah. to i used to listen to him a lot yeah i too. love like his parts and songs but i don't know why mm-hmm. i don't know why i was a hater i don't know yeah he he got into entertainment and they started doing yeah. more entertainment stuff right well, yeah, i think i know they're 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 long gone now right as a group they're not a group anymore but yeah. one of them got married to this one actress i think it yeah was. uh but they were really good really hot not hot group but i was really into yeah. like, into their music and yeah, their like them. kind of style um so yeah in the comments let us know do you because i've always wondered like if all the show me the money winners competed against each other who would come out on top that'd be nice so who do you think would i, would, I don't know it's hard to say i want to say nafla yeah i think nafla would probably be up there 
I almost I do want to say Bobby because I'm a Bobby fan, but I don't I don't think no. he would win. I feel like <sighs> maybe top maybe top three. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna maybe. say bottom three for Bobby. <laughs> bottom three. Uh, I actually, I was, maybe I don't know. I'll say maybe I, like him, Hangzhou, and like Soul Dive. We bought three for me, maybe. Yeah, so I didn't even watch Show Me the Money one and two because I don't even know if you can watch it anywhere with English subs. So I haven't watched it mm-hmm. until like actually Tommy told me, you told me about in Show Me the Money two, two people won. Yeah, the, Soul the Dive. Yeah, of course, three. Yeah, I didn't even know. Uh, yeah, I watched it yeah, without subtitles. Kind of but then, like, somehow, yeah. like, it's weird. How can a group go against all these solo guys? Yeah, so. Yeah. I don't know much about him, but Loco was the show me number one. one. Yeah, maybe I don't think he could win, but yeah. I, so when the the basic year, do you think he he did you watch the full episode, the full season for that one? For I basic, it was four. Basic four. in Mino. Yeah. yeah. Did I watch it? I think I did. It was basic, and it wasn't even Mino, was it? Was it middle? Yeah, he, it was him and and, and basic. basic you know, oh, okay, basic. I remember. I did like basic, yeah. But in my I, opinion, I, I thought Mino should have won, beaten basic. Yeah, but things happen. So, uh so another episode that me and Tommy are planning to do is talking about Show Me the Money Nine and High School Rapper Four. Or in my opinion, because. I honestly feel like High School Rapper was better than Show Me the Money Nine, <laughs> but that's a story, like a topic for a story for another topic, uh, another day, for another day. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys want to see that uh, episode, let us know in the comments. The more you guys comment, the faster we'll bring it. We'll bring it to you. And yeah, uh, the last uh, episode air of High School Rapper aired today, not today, this week. That we're recording this so was doki on any show time. or high school no. rappers the quiet eventually mm. well he's on this season isn't he or last the quiet was is in here, this yeah. one and i think he was what in one with co 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 cons oh, okay course. um but yeah i think high, high school rapper this is the best season out of all of them i think and like i said better than showing my nine but yeah can another day mm-hmm. yeah but yeah so i guess that's how we or that's how i got introduced to doki i guess yeah, yeah through, through show, me show me the money nine money too yeah i think yeah. everyone maybe really got, unless you're from korea and you actually listen to k-pop k-hip-hop back in the day then you yeah. would know he was around for a while uh, doki before show me the money but i think a lot of us in like not that international not international people. yeah know about doki through show me the money and he's actually on a show before he left to LA that was not Show Me the Money. And he had that whole song with a bunch of other Korean rappers that oh, he what was it? on his song. I it just like actually just Je- Jesse was on that and like some other crush and some other random yeah, yeah. artists. Uh he wasn't I don't know if he's on the track, but maybe in the show. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I actually just listened to that song on the way back here, back home. But I, I forgot the name of the song. But it was Doki's song, but he featured like us. Like, uh, ton of yeah as much of guys rappers. yeah but yeah after that show he went to la so show me the board show me the money wasn't the last thing that he did so mm-hmm. yeah and then back going back to doki leaving uh like i said like back when illinaire first announced that they were not being illinaire anymore yeah i, was I actually did I make a yeah i made a video about talking about that because i didn't have this podcast at the time but I was so pretty surprised, pretty sad because, like I said, it was my my first K hip hop journey. You know, like I that's the first rappers in K Korea that yeah. I knew about that wasn't K pop related. Even when they I first was, posted, I wasn't even sure. Because I think when they post, because I, I I don't think I follow Alienaire on on Instagram, mm. but I follow the Quiet and Doki. But I think mm. I don't think Doki posted anything. But I think I remember the Quiet posted. It was a picture of like I think him and Doki just on stage kind of thing, right. and then like there's like a long ass. It was all in Korean, so I didn't know what anything meant. But it was like a long ass, like lots of type, you know, lots of words. And then I think in the 
comments a bunch of hearts and just things so i kind of felt that was in korean though right yeah so i know what it yeah. meant but like just from the picture i was just like huh like what does yeah. that mean and then like alienar hasn't done anything in so long and that was after doki like had that thing with uh, dumbfounded where he's kind of like oh yeah the podcast the states yeah mm. so i had a feeling yeah. and then you know a little bit later find out they're i guess disbanding I don't know yeah, that's right I, word, but, I even yeah. posted on instagram like on my, one of my my posts like after i think it was like 10 years or 11 years that they were together they're finally leave they're finally disbanding it was pretty hard to to see them leave but i kind of already kind of pictured it because doki wasn't really doing stuff in korea anymore at the time yeah and focusing on his uh stuff in la the quiet was doing the quiet was on like reality shows and stuff like that yeah he was still yeah. he, and he was still doing stuff he was still making the moves and now he's yeah. uh got a new label with yumda which which uh i want to see how they how that label does and he's on high school rapper for the quiet so he has some performances or features on there too so um yeah yeah i think i had a feeling once i noticed i don't i don't think they disbanded yet but when the quiet was in that song that like oh, i forgot what it's called but it, it was kind of like a christmas song with like yumda palo alto mm, i'm a do yeah that song yeah yeah like it's a song like, like that's not his style so mm. i know yeah i noticed he was more on like he was going on reality shows he's doing like singing rap and songs like that and mm. i kind of felt like i don't know how to say it but like he was like like changing or he was like adapting uh, he, to the new trends i guess yeah 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 exactly. but doki's not doing anything so that was kind of mm. I kind of, and then then you hear the podcast with like dumbfound and that's when i kind of felt like oh like can that be a thing like, oh can they actually like disband or you know at least stop for a bit yeah like, they even when they standing. when they made the podcast i didn't expect them to disband i thought they were he was just taking a break yeah he, they Leonard did have like this this concert where where doki actually went back to korea to perform with them went on stage mm -hmm. to perform with like alien ambition and all those guys but then after that i think a couple months later they they announced the, the breakup but i never would have guessed that they were going to break up but yeah, i had I a little so. suspicion just because uh, doki stopped making music at the time and he had left korea for a little bit already mm -hmm. And I was like, so what happens now? Are they, are Doki and the quiet still friends? Cause I haven't really seen the quiet. Uh, yeah, that's true. Doki. I wanted that too. Yeah. And being Zeno too. Yeah. Well, I feel like being Zeno hasn't done much either. So that's why I kind of felt mm. too. Like he, he still just has kind his, of, I still want wasted. that. I, I a B studio merch, but I don't even know how to get that. What's that? He has a, uh, I think it's his, it's not his clothing company, but he always like promotes it. I a B yeah. studios or studio. Uh, uh, I've always Zeno. wanted to, yeah. Oh, okay. I've always wanted to get like clothing from there, but it's really oh, okay. hard to get stuff from Korea. And every time they they have new stock, everyone always buys it really fast. Okay. So I feel like you just need to go to Korea to get it. To be honest. Probably. Yeah, I was never a big fan of Beans. You know, uh, were you? I feel like a lot of people were a fan of Beans. You know, out of everyone in Illinois. That's what yeah, when I, I talk to people about it. I think Korea, it might just be like just trans translation, I guess. Like an actual mm -hmm. Korean, he's probably spitting bars, but like when you translate it, it might not be translated properly. Mm -hmm. Right. Because like so, Doki like that. raps, he knows English, so he raps in English yeah. and Korean. And his style, yeah. Like it, one, well, I think he, someone said, or he even said, like sometimes when he raps, it sounds English, but it's not English yeah yeah uh, it has like a better i don't say better but like it has a nicer like flow i guess or tone yeah yeah i i want like i said in the the not this podcast but like in the other video about doki i feel like the closest person right now to that that kind of flow is just this um oh yeah it's like the only person i feel like is around his level i don't know who else maybe nafla but he hasn't been making music much because of, nope. I guess, because of the scandal. But he has signed with Gruelin for a while now and he hasn't really made any music. I saw, I just randomly found, like, like I guess it's not like an official release track, but he made a, mm. Nafla made a cover of, uh, uh, what's that? 
higher music song. The one where mm-hmm. Tradell like made his debut on. Oh, uh, how we rock. No, Did no. He... Oh fuck. The freestyle thing. The freestyle. Yeah. The one. Yeah. The cypher one that starts with the six cypher. K. cypher. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So he did like, I didn't even, is it he on made like a, yeah, it's on YouTube. I think it's on his YouTube, but it's not like an actual it's, real track. It's like audio. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's I'm all right. That yeah. Not for me, like a cover of it. But, but sure, yeah, yeah, I think like, it's like one verse. It's like a minute long or not even a minute. Oh, it's just his, yeah. his I thought he was doing the whole song. No, I don't I know. It, it was like a, maybe a minute and a half at most. Oh. Yeah. Just like one verse. And I need to check that out. Cause I, I didn't yeah. even know it did that. Like I've like, cause I follow Nafla on Instagram and he doesn't really post no, anything. Nothing. He has his own YouTube, like Nafla YouTube channel. Uh, I guess so. Well, it, I just randomly went on Nafla's Instagram and it's on his bio. So I pressed it and that's the video. So I'm just, oh. yeah, it's just, yeah. I see. Yeah. But, um, or I guess, did you know, I apparently, I think Nafla and Do- Doki had beef before possibly. I think I don't, I don't know if it's. I think I heard or, about that too, but yeah. I don't know what what the whole thing was. I yeah. also thought Justice and Doki had some beef too, but I don't know. Maybe in the comments, let us know if there is something like mm-hmm. that because I've always wanted Alpha and Doki to feature in a song, yeah, or do a song. But I feel like there was there's some back and forth going on with them because I, uh, Doki when Alpha was in. To show me the money, Doki featured and Kim show in song. Yeah, I also mentioned that. Yeah, and then I think that's I think that's what when the beefs not started but was was surfaced. Yeah, but I don't know really what happened. Yeah, but but that'd be good because uh, Nafla is not born in LA, but he lived there for quite a bit, and mm. Doki is like living in LA now. So I think yeah. that would be a really good track. Yeah, I'm sure they'd be both. They made a song together, it'd be like fire. Yeah, because I mean, if Nafla made that as a comeback, like, because you know, Nafla hasn't made a song in a while. Yeah. If he does a song with Doki, I think that would blow up. I, yeah, to like, I don't know, would you, Doki's, you wouldn't, I think Doki's more considered like a trap guy, right? Then I think bap. he's more, yeah, I was, I think he's more of like a lyricist, lyrics, yeah. lyricist. So I think any any track he's on, he can yeah any track. But I think he, overall, he's, but I think he mostly does do like trap stuff because yeah. like he can rap, he can show up his rap, yeah, he's like, like fast, fast rapping, yeah, and his pace and his flow. Um, but those are like the songs that I like most about him, like about Doki. So mm-hmm. if he makes more trap, I'll be happy, not sad. Yeah, I think but that's I why. Just, I did. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I think that's why I didn't like well what you call it uh culture that much at first hmm. might have just been like a a shift of style that i wasn't like expecting because yeah, yeah, yeah i know most songs of doki like are all like the trap songs and stuff yeah yeah like but or not but doki does have like those boom back boom back tracks yeah, he does yeah uh but those are more tracks where he like has like something to say mm-hmm. you know what i mean because in this one culture he had something to say like where he's been yeah and like or it might have been because it was english to. so that threw me off too he has some korean in it like yeah a little, a little bit, bit of korean yeah but so like, mostly english which is yeah. kind of good for us because we know what he's saying mm-hmm. yeah yeah so if you haven't seen my reaction to culture go you can go check it out culture. after this podcast and my other talk video um, it's only at 300 some thousand views which exactly find, that's yeah low. you bring up a good point like what the yeah. f- like how that's what i mean by like, new generation doesn't know about doki like yeah. this artist everything that he come like every song i feel like it should get at least a million views like at least yeah. it should be more than a million views at this point but you said three thousand three hundred thousand three hundred thousand yeah it's like yeah. What? That, that was like enough. an hour ago yeah yeah, so I feel like yeah. the K-pop K-hip-hop wave is kind of like changing now, like shifting. Yeah. To like I wonder the if there's any like stuff. I wonder if there's any like Doki haters, people considering him I wanna say mm-hmm. quitter, but like leaving Korea kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't really read the comments about like the yeah. the podcast with Dumbfounded, because maybe people talk about it on there. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't know. But if I'm you just saying. Watching, I've, I've never heard. I'm just saying poss- possibly. I feel like maybe if there was a beef between Justice and Doki or Nafla and Justice. Or oh, Nafla yeah, definitely. Doki, yeah. Then maybe there would be those guys, those people mm. talking down on Doki. But I don't think you really can talk about talk bad about Doki. Because I actually mm. think he had this thing with his his parents and this not paying jewelry or some something like that. But he was able to win the case. So with Doki? Yeah. But what I don't remember what I don't remember what it was. I think it was like he didn't pay uh, something. He didn't pay something. Yeah. Maybe it was on a loan or something. But then he had a like a lawyer and he, he went to court and he won. I think. Interesting. So um, but I don't know if I'm exactly wording it right about what happened and stuff, but I do know he had this whole thing with the law. So in the comments, if you are yeah. watching this far, let us know what you think and what the actual story was about. Cause I just do know about like this whole court situation with Doki mm-hmm. and I think that he won too. So, so you can't really, I don't feel you can really hate Doki because I mean, he has this, uh, she was on the show called I Live Alone, which is a Korean show where they, they show people living, like how they live oh, yeah, doing think, music and stuff. I think I watched that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he's pretty like chill. He's like a chill dude. Yeah. He just makes music on the side. When he makes music, he's fire. Um, and me and Tommy, we've been to a dope, like Alien Air concert, Doki concert. So we, I mean, at least I highly recommend you go. Once COVID is done. Yeah. I was mentioning like, yeah. 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 It's Let's definitely go. a good time. Like I, we met Doki before too. Like I oh, yeah, the I, fan meet thing. Yeah. Yeah. Or meet and um, greet. Yeah. Yeah. People, are, I don't know a lot of people in Korea or a lot of people say that I do look like Doki, but some people don't see it. I told me, I think I asked you before. I think you said you don't really see it. No, I don't. Maybe if you like buzz cut or do like yeah. cornrows, then maybe. <laughs> yeah. That's why I got the blonde hair to look more like Doki, but, uh, but sometimes like when I post stuff about Doki, the Korean comments are like, yo, is that Doki? So maybe Korean people think I look like Doki, but you see uh, the Korean eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So I wanted to talk more about Doki because I wanted him to, like I said, get more well, he's already well known, but more well known to like the new, the new school hip hop. K hip hop audience. Cause if you guys are Changmo fans and Kid Millie fans, definitely go check out Doki and his, his music that he's doing because it's, it's, he's the goat of K hip hop. Yeah, good music. He's like, like his trap songs are like, I don't know, like hard, I don't know what they're, how to say it, hard hitting. I like, don't know. Like they're, they're, they're Illinois album, like 1111. I don't, is that was, yeah. Yeah, I, I think feel so, like yeah. that's a really good album. It's very, um, how you say it? Yeah. It's like somewhat North Americanized, I guess. Like, mm. like I, I think like, you, you can compare their yeah. songs kind of with like North American hip hop songs. Yeah. So I feel like yeah. that's why I think like Doki is kind of like a North Americanized. Hip-hop yeah. Group. Like influencer. He's yeah. still influencer. Yeah. yeah. He, he spits in Korean, but you can, you somehow feel like, oh, is he saying English or Korean? Mm-hmm. So I definitely get that vibe and good up a uh, big ups to him for signing with a uh, American label. I was, wa- I was waiting for the day that he does cause Jay Park signed to rock nation and now Doki's with this last Kings. I was, ho- I was wondering if you guys in the comments know more about our viewers know about like if Doki was able to sign with a different company aside from last Kings or if there's like a, uh, a choice he was able to make with another American label, let us know. True. But I'm, I'm kind of thinking like, cause there's other labels in America. I don't really know who's in what label, but yeah, same I here. feel like there might be some better ones. I was going to say like, I'm so Korean song. Like, like I pretty much listen to no North American music at all. Like pretty much nothing. So it's like, I don't know anything going on. The only music okay. here is if like on the radio or something or like walking around, like, yeah, like on the radio or like in the mall or at work, like through the, like the, the yeah. music playing in the store. Like that's, yeah, that's the only same, time I hear like, North American music. Yeah, we're all, me and Tommy are both like Korean 
nice i guess in the yeah. music like half what well, most of like more than 90 percent of my playlist is korean stuff same here and there's a, a little bit of english music in there i still listen to english hip-hop and uh, american hip-hop but like mostly i listen to american hip-hop because like when i work out i need something to hard hitting and american hip-hop has has some of those tracks and k hip-hop does too so well but uh, let's see that's your time how long we've been recording for i don't even know uh, yeah an hour or so yeah doki what else can we talk about doki 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 so what uh, i guess i feel like i can mostly relate to him in show me the money so he was in three he was not in four right uh, uh five five or six oh, he's not six six he was he was in three and then he came back in six oh, it took i two think years that off. was i think so because it was a, oh it's, yeah was that that was it was him and jay park right yeah yeah it was, it was a year with him and Dok or quiet and then him and jay park oh there's another time with doki and the quiet and they had juno flow on their team juno. i don't remember oh, that was, was, that that was, was six wasn't that uh which one was the no that was jay park jay park yeah uh, yeah oh flow sick flow sick i meant flow sick was on one of them oh that four. was he was on four yeah i think he was on three i think it was three and four oh jeez he was for sure in six because i know that was when uh was wu chan is that his name yeah yeah the young kid yeah i think they, he was on that season yeah so i think i think he took f season five off but i, I remember him like no, he was in season five season five had um the performance with um that was was that was flow sick mendo super b and uh kim kim hill and, and like the performance oh i thought that was four no that was, I yeah was five, four yeah. yeah that was five five was a by season four was Mino. yeah Mino basic um, basic which I, i'm pretty sure he wasn't it yeah so i guess mm -hmm. three three five and six then i guess maybe f i think three and five was him and quiet and six was him and j park and i think that was the last one six. yeah last one yeah yeah, yeah it was I like juno love... flow double k oh, ness yeah double k ness and woody and... go child yeah yeah woody go child yeah yeah there you go which actually like an artist that i'm starting to like a lot more that i feel like has upgraded is woody go child yeah like his his uh stuff in the high music compilation blue red and blue tape i think is pretty good i like yeah. it i like i'm liking although sometimes like i say his auto tune is a little bit too much but I still feel like I can groove to his, his flow and style. So cool. Yeah. I haven't I haven't even listened to that album. <laughs> really? No. I don't know. I'm uh, I'm I'm slow in some or I'm behind. But you know I'm only on like, I'm only starting to watch Show Me the Money Nine again. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I if someone was to start getting into K hip hop, I would definitely recommend the higher music compilation oh, okay i thought you were gonna say i gonna recommend would it go child which you're like eh. not woody no yeah, yeah. no that's woody like later go. on yeah later on yeah if you're a new if you're a new school like hip-hop fan like american hip-hop then maybe i would maybe would it go child because he's kind of in that realm with like um the american rappers nowadays with that uh auto-tune stuff and singing mm. rap because that's kind of the wave now in american hip-hop um but definitely if you want some like r like real k-pop rap yeah higher music um, would be a good choice i think yeah no i mean like that the the compilation or just that album, album. Yeah. yeah uh because there's two there's red play, red tape and blue tape blue tape is more mellow more like singing stuff yeah. red tape is more hard hitting and oh, yeah, like safe yeah yeah okay. so there's like a song called the purge which actually kind of blew up when they came out with the music video that's probably their most their most popular song on the album on the compilation red tape um yeah so and i also feel like ph1 uh had an upgrade too in the compilation album yeah ph1 is he's solid solid artist yeah uh yeah show me them i guess 
What's, did he? Did he? Wait, how, what's the furthest Doki went from the money? What do you mean? Oh, you mean like in terms of yeah? Their team? I, he never went to finals, right? I think I never did. He won with Bobby. Oh no, he won. Oh, shoot, yeah, I thought, okay, I guess I never watched season three. Yeah, or barely. Yeah, I guess that's like out of my mind. Yeah, that's why I like Bobby too because he was with Doki and stuff. Yeah, and that time, at that, and at the time, I was a fan of Doki, and then Bobby was with them. Yeah, and I felt like Bobby kind of blended well with them, so I started becoming a fan of Bobby, and then Bobby had that whole icon thing. And now, actually, my favorite K-pop group is Icon. So everything that Icon really comes out with, I listen to. Uh, Tommy, you say you don't really, you didn't really listen to Bobby, but maybe you man would. You should check that out. For people that don't know, that don't really like Bobby from Show Me Money Three, I feel like you man is a good song, as like a really good hype song. I would say. Yeah. Yeah, like even I know, uh, what was it? Show me the money five. Ready was on there, and I really, I really like Ready, and this is a song that Bobby featured in. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, like, like like this, this? yeah, yeah. And honestly, even till today, I like that song except Bobby's part. <laughs> oh yeah, you're just yeah. a Bobby so, hater, man. Yeah, I'm just a Bobby <laughs> hater. Yeah, I guess I don't like his style. Yeah, do you like song Minos though? Like yeah, him. I like some Mino. Yeah, Mino's cool. They're kind of like not the same, but like they kind of have like a similar, similar. Mino's like, that was it, like deep voice and Bobby's. Bobby's like got that too. A rat, He's like, got a r- rough, rough. Yeah, it's more. R- yeah. But I feel like when you put them together, because they have that M O B B thing, they have a song called Full House, which is more the trap oh, style. I, I think I like that. <sighs> I like, like Bobby's part. Yes, yeah, so I, I don't remember. I think yeah, I had. I think, I, yeah, I had. I listened. I had that song. My like, I think before Spotify was a thing. I think I actually downloaded that song. Yeah, yeah they they are they make a du- good duo, Bobby and Mino. And I kind of do prefer Bobby over Mino, but um, okay. yeah. I just randomly Googled him. He is born 1990. So I guess he's like 31. Oh, he just turned 31. Not too long ago. And he's been in the game since like. In his like before his teens, I think. Yeah. Uh, like he was in that. This, there's this YG thing. This old school YG thing. And it was him be, like a, a young Doki. Like yeah. Like Pablo. Doki with like dreadlocks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tabo wasn't in it yet, but no. know, I don't even remember what it was called, but it's like why it was YG something. Yeah. And it was like a is a hip hop track and he was on it. And he was and with was, um was oh. Microdot. Him and Microdot were a duo when they were black, I think it was called. Yeah, when they were like kids. They were like yeah. they're supposed to be like a what you call it? Yeah, like like a K K pop boy band mm. like duo, I think. I thought they were just gonna be like a hip hop duo. Yeah. But well, I, I think, think I think it was more K, yeah, like it was K-pop was more a little more hip hop style. Mm-hmm. So I think they did perform in, on those like those I forget what you call them, those like music shows that they all do now. But, but these days, people like rappers, K-hip hop rappers, they do perform on shows too. But back in the day, I oh, think yeah. it was different. Yeah. Well, I guess they don't do they they don't perform in like I forget you call them like I'm I used to watch it real religiously when I was into K-pop. Like every like. There's a certain day where there's like a certain show, and it's like, yeah, like music bank. Yeah, um, those. Yeah, those. Things. I forgot they're called. Oh, Inky, Gayo. Yeah, Inky Gayo is one of them. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, one of my favorite it. songs from Chang Mo Doki. Because oh yeah, Doesn't I saw Chang that live, and uh, it was really. I was. I really like that song. Yeah, um, but yeah. Doki was with Microdot, who I liked, and I don't know Microdot's like. I don't know if he quit music or what he's doing, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what Microdot's yeah. doing, but I've heard I of think he also has something with his family too. Like yeah. this, this, this uh, I don't know, scandal, I guess. Mm-hmm. But I haven't heard much about Microdot, but he, is, I don't know why he didn't, mm. I don't know, like, because I didn't really listen to 
but was in the phase of all black at the time because I didn't even know about that yeah. until Show Me the Money. I only I, I remember trying to search up their songs. I don't think you even find them. They're just like I too old. I like can't ever find it. They're like never made it, so they never like nobody ever released anything. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Michael Dell has a song called Goalkeeper that features Doki. Goalkeeper. Oh yeah, the songs. I, have, I think I have that song on Spotify. But yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool for a micro dot and uh Doki, Doki reunion nowadays. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Doki Doki, I think if he continues to make music now, I think he can get his recognition back because all we all he really needs to do is rap, you know, so because mm-hmm. his rapping speaks for speaks for itself. So. And we all yep. know that we're Doki fans that his rapping is like better than anyone. I would say his, his flow is steady. Uh, he, his beats are always good. He's, I think he's a producer too. So he like, makes his own beats. Of course he has like producers on the side too, that help him make tracks. But I think he also makes his own music too. So, um, yeah, yeah I, I guess for to what Doki is going to do. Like, because I definitely feel like he's going to put on more songs now because of this culture thing and this last Kings signing. I guess we'll see how, like, I'm sure his English is actually pretty good. It's pretty, yeah, I, I met him before. Like I, I spoke to him. Yeah. He, he's, so I mean, we'll see he kind of much... act like a, like a rock star kind of like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But I, I could hear you. It kind of sounds really like has really yeah. good English. So, I mean, culture it, it sounded fine, but I feel like that's just one song kind of thing, right? But now make like ten songs all in English, and it's not I think like he, yeah, he is coming with an album yeah. coming yeah. out, which is going to be good. Hopefully, it does come out with some music videos mm-hmm. and uh, things I can react to. Let's see, but I mean, out of everyone, he could probably do it. Yeah, like sure. somewhat and he, to actually yeah. succeed in like North America. They actually have a like a good comeback. Like, yeah, I mean, he has uh, have like everything. Get his name yeah. out there more, or get his name out there again. Mm-hmm. Would be good, but he's not even a par- part of Alien Era. Just kind of, I don't know, like when he comes back or if he come back comes back to Korea, like who he's gonna reach out to and stuff. Because, like I said, I don't know if him and Doki, him and the choir, are so in talking terms I, I i'm pretty sure they are because uh in the bentley 2 song that the quiet had he mentioned illinaire so i don't know because i've haven't really seen the quiet kind of like shout out the doki and his new culture song when changmo and other yeah, changmo i saw did yeah have done that so i don't know if there's something going on with them too maybe that was why they broke up because they had maybe. falling out Possibly. Then Benzino too. Like I, I wonder what he's gonna. He just do. Re- he signed with who? I forgot. He signed with some company. Like he a new signed one. with the label too. Yeah. Really. Let's hmm. pull up Google. He signed with someone. But uh. Is this recent? I think so. Well, yeah, it had to be recent since Alienaire. Like I guess disbanded not too long ago. Benzino, where are you, Benzino? But yeah, I feel like Doki's he's 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 gonna do like a whole rebrand. I feel like he's probably gonna try to what you call it, like promote more in the states than states, like yeah. Korea. Yeah. Like only like yeah. the like the OG fans will obviously like fault like us, like kinda follow him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where's Bins, you know? I'm pretty sure I saw him, like a picture of him and two other guys. I don't know where it was. Are you sure it's not his like uh IAB Studios thing promotion. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, the Zeno label. Ah, when you Google this, is uh, Alien Air Records still? <laughs> is it his? Oh no, he's with or... he's with he's with Essence. Essence oh. is a uh, label, whatever that's called. Essence. Wait, so this is a recent thing? Yeah, like because I remember Being Zeno came out with a song called "I'm Okay" or something like that. Okay, I'm a go. <laughs> Something uh, for it's sense. called oh, okay, go. Beasts and Natives Alike. 
Uh, who else is? Do you know who else is in the? Um, Eason's. Oh jeez, what type is this? It's a guy named XXX. I don't know who that is. Um, Kim Zimya, X I M Y A. Oh, I've heard of that, but I don't really know uh, much about him. It's supposed to be Frank F R N K. Um, okay. yeah, those are the artists. I have no idea who they are. They're probably like a new okay. kind of, or more of like an underground. I mean, E Sense, E Sense, highly like respected. Yeah, maybe, that's maybe that's why. Because I remember Benzino came out with a song way back uh, called OK Go. Yeah, I think it, yeah, but it was featuring E Sense. Maybe E-Sense. that was the time they signed him or but. He sent signed up Benzino, but yeah, I've, I don't. Benzino hasn't really come out with music, anyways, in, in a while. Zeno. Anyone, everyone except for freaking the Quiet, been making yeah, the Quiet's moves. like going off. Yeah, he's still he's not burnt out. It doesn't seem like. Nope. Whereas Doki was burnt out, and now he's back in the game. But I, I feel like Doki is gonna take his time though to come back because. I think uh, I'm not sure when he's gonna come up with new like his new his other songs, but I feel like he's gonna take his time with it. Sure. Hopefully sooner than later, within like a few months. Month. I mean, I definitely want to see him come out with music um, sooner, like like tomorrow or sooner or later but i i think his plan is to like just like chill like he knows chill. he can make good music yep. um like just wait for like the right time i guess yeah um but if he does come up with something i i would be here to react to it and if it's something that's big enough to talk about it might be another podcast episode yep okay yeah i was it was weird like i wouldn't say i'm that big of a doki fan but when i did first see like posts like the first trailer the first kind of first kind of post that revealed like a comeback i was like fanboying it's weird yeah. which i'm not, I'm not to, like, that big posted on my story yeah. yeah i think i saw yeah you put it yeah i heard about it and i didn't believe it i was like what because it was been so long and i just thought about Yo, where's Doki at? Why is his Instagram going? Mm-hmm. Uh, what is he doing now after Illinois? And then he came out this teaser, and I was like, "What the? This guy read my mind or something?" Yeah, yeah, so same we, thing maybe, here. Maybe what we are like. Yeah, like it was actually kind of funny. Like not too long before he came to come back, I was just randomly going through. Uh, I was kind of cleaning up one of my playlists on Spotify, mm-hmm. and then I just went through like a whole row of like Doki songs. And then I like, um, I like went on his like Spotify profile Yeah. and I went on his, uh, what's that album called? It's like kind of green. It's like a car, a car on it. What's it called? Oh, a multi-million. Multi- yeah. Million. That one. Yeah. He's like kind of green. Hmm. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just found it. Yeah. He's on, but, like, he's on like a Bentley or something. Oh, Reborn. Oh, no, it's called Re- Reborn. Oh, Reborn. Yeah. yeah. That's his, that was his, his last one, right? I think. Latest or second one. one. Yeah. yeah. I think multi-millionaire was before that. But yeah, I was just really listening to a bunch of songs and like so nostalgic. And then yeah, like maybe a week later, he come come back. That was pretty crazy. Speaking of um, Korean American rappers, um, I don't know if you Tommy still follow these guys, but Juno Flow and G Two. No, not at all. Uh, but they um, they live I, together now. Yeah. Oh. In in L A. and they. Uh, G2 personally messaged me and he was like, yo, me and uh, Juno got like freaking 20 songs. We made 20 songs. Yeah, he, he messaged you on. No, he didn't message me. I, I was just like commented on his one of his stories oh. saying, yo, I've been wait, I've been waiting for you guys to do a, a like a collab, collab album. Like and then he was like, yo, we got like freaking 20 songs already done. And I was like, yo, waiting for that, that uh, album to come out because at, they have a song already called five five a.m and soul five a.m soul or something like that yeah and i thought that was a really good song so i've been waiting this whole time for them to do another collab and they're living together now so i think it's going to come out sooner okay or later. no i just once g2 left highlight that was like a while ago too right 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I never really. Honestly, out of highlight, I don't think that, I thought GG was kind of cool, but I think overall his music I didn't like it that much. He had a few songs that I liked, but like it wasn't like ready or like I liked all of his songs. I guess I, like, uh, you know. I think I was kind of opposite because when when G two left highlight i stopped following highlight because g2 was my favorite in the in the label yeah and then when he left i kind of felt like highlight was kind of missing something but i feel like yunbi is kind of starting to i'm starting to like him a little bit more yeah at first i didn't like him but yeah recently mm-hmm. after more music he, he's going into that singing rap rap now too so i think he was always kind of like that though if you listen to his old songs, yeah. Maybe it'll show me the money where he actually started getting into that like that hard hitting rap stuff. Because I before he wasn't showing me the money, when there was rumors of him going on, people were saying that look out for you and B he's gonna be like the up and coming. Yeah. The next potential winner. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think he can win showing the money, but no. he's definitely a guy to look out for for me. I I'm I'm left I look forward to his comeback but he doesn't really get that many views on youtube so even if i do watch his re- react to his new song it probably won't do really do well for me or him in terms of like promoting him yeah like i guess juno flow he was i don't know i wasn't re- that big of a fan of juno flow either he had that west side oh, no, west, west coast flavor you know like the la flavor yeah oh maybe i'm he just brought that to show me the money Wait, so before we like, I don't know if we're going to end soon, but yeah. like you, did you see the, it was Ulti and Junoflo, they did like the Cypher, the freestyle battle or Cypher battle. Oh yeah. And the Ulti freestyled it. So I mean, when he's yeah, yeah. six, I think six. Yeah. And then yeah, Junoflo oh, yeah. did that West Coast flavor. Cause like yeah. the beat was a West Coast beat. Yeah. I thought that was a pretty, pretty, uh, revolutionary thing. Yeah. I'm an old. Did you like that though from Juno Flow? Yeah, I think I remember that part. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you're you're an Ulti fan then, but I, I don't yeah, I like, really yeah, see I like Ulti. Ulti that much. He really like I don't know, maybe like he's like he never got like super popular, I guess. I felt like when he was on Show Me the Money, uh, I think he was on there like twice. Yeah. And yeah, every exactly. time he yeah. he went to like the, the group rounds and stuff. Yeah. I just kind of felt like or he went three times, three times, three times. Oh. Yeah, show him money three, three, five, and six, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, three. There's yeah. one time he had like green hair or something like that. Yeah, well, I think those six? both it was three was when he lost to, I guess, Iron or whoever, and then mm-hmm. there was the two years where he went to the performance, and I think he, he got eliminated in both the performances because he messed up his lyrics in both of them in semi the semi-finals no it was uh like the team performance oh, one of yeah. them he was he was with yunbi uh yunhui and takwa he messed up his lyrics oh, in that Ulti, one. was in that Ulti, one? yeah well you might oh, remember because he thought best art guy bully the best star. i thought he was in the Takwa. No, or, or or i guess no he was he he was part of that crew but the other half he was with uh donut man was it donut man yunhui and someone else hmm. yeah uh but i just i don't know i felt like the press the tv presence of ot i didn't i felt like he was kind of bullying yeah people <laughs> but oh yes, uh, yeah he, he kind of sounds like a like a show off like a dick yeah so kind of, yeah. i i didn't really feel it so when he was rapping i didn't really yeah. really uh follow him i was kind of rooting for the other person yeah i guess uh, he's only good at like freestyling like dissing I guess. yeah i feel like that's that. like that's his best trait yeah i think same with that uh that one guy that was in ulti like ulti's friend I forgot his name but uh fucking ulti's friend he beat flow sick yeah, oh he's a freestyle guy too yeah he was in he like destroyed one in their disc battle yeah right that guy yeah first thing so so two yeah. gold or something yeah 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 that guy yeah. i i didn't really like that guy i felt like flow sick should have beaten him yeah I, I wasn't a fan of him either yeah, yeah so yeah i feel like his best trait also is, is freestyle mm-hmm. um yeah. yeah um without i feel like we are past like hour and a half actually 
Yeah, I don't even know where we start. I feel like we haven't talked that much about Doki. <laughs> Got off topic. I, I don't know. I, I'm going to probably title this like Doki. Doki and I'm, I'm pretty much talking like about Doki signing to Last Kings, right? Because like, I didn't talk about that last time. Mm-hmm. And I just kind of wanted to get a second opinion on Doki and stuff. Like people actually know who he is. Oh, yeah. So probably title yeah. this Doki signs with Last Kings, Tiger. <laughs> And I then uh, cool. how we got into K hip hop, pretty much, because yeah, that's that's really what we talked about. Today. I think that'd be sick though, Tyga and like they kind of look, do they, yeah, I guess they kind of look alike. Because I mean, well, I guess Tyga they both kind of like, the blonde hair. Yeah, they're both like skinny, skinny guys. I guess I don't know. But Doki is like super small though. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, Doki's small. Yeah, he's pretty short, but he makes up for it in his rap. Mm-hmm. So that. Uh, so I, I do I do look forward to seeing what a Taiga and Doki song sounds like. So uh, I'll be looking yeah. out for that. I feel like maybe a, tra- a trap song would be like ridiculous. I think like Nicki Minaj is in that Last Kings too. Yeah. So I don't I'm not a fan of Nicki Minaj. So I don't no. I hope they don't really make a song. But maybe it'll sound good with Doki on it. Or maybe I'll just do the thing where I just listen to Doki's part and not less to Nicki Minaj's part. Yeah. Cause that's usually what I do with uh, cause like there's some songs that I like, but artists that I don't like in the song. So yeah, that kind of that sucks. part comes on, I kind of skip skip it. it. Yeah, yeah, that sucks when it happens. Like uh, okay. yeah, go ahead. What's that song? Well, I'll tell you how I just I just I'm really into VVS. Show me the money now. Yeah, and I I was like like I feel like what's his name? Mush Venom and mm. uh. Marani's yeah. parts are so good. Where like I hate Mushman and Justice's <laughs> part. Like, like they're good, but just because Mar- like the the do like the 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 live performance version, it's like a million times better. It's like when you hear the studio, it's like oh my god, I just want to. I don't I don't I don't I, care about I Justice do, and Munchman. I right do now. like I do like Mini Minani's part too. Yeah. Uh, Justice FLA is doing more like the, the singing rap part, that yeah. singing rap style, and doing the chorus and the hook. I feel like much of my songs like all the same. Or it has like the same For, style. Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, I think he was more like that comedic guy. Yeah. That com- like entertainer, I would mm-hmm. say. Uh, yeah, I, do, I I think Mush, Mush Venom, Mush Venom uh, did uh, pretty well too on the, yeah, on the song. He's... But I don't know, every time, because he's, he's the last one to, to rap, so every time I get to the end of the song, I kind of like, skip it. So I don't really hear much Venom part that much, but I do think he's pretty, pretty talented because he can beatbox pretty well too. So. Yeah. His style is like different, mm-hmm. which is weird. like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. It's like, it's, it's like weird, but it's like really good still. Yeah. He has I'm his own style. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think this, this topic can be talked about in, the next topic, yeah, which is show time. me the money, oh, yeah, show me the money and yeah. high school That's rapper. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe Tommy's gonna have like show me the money more than high school rapper after he, after he sees some of the performances in high school rapper. But I just seeing both, I feel like I I, will, I like high school rapper more for, and I feel like high school rapper four is the best high school rapper so far. Besides the one with Cloud in it, aka Ash Island, because during that time when Ash Allen was cloud. I was already saying, yo, he should sign to Illinois. And then they made Illinois Bishop and Ash Allen signed there. So I think I predicted the future. But nobody knew more what it was. And show me I watched I think we watched a couple episodes of High School Rapper. Was it two? It was in two, right? Ash Island? Yeah, two. Well, weren't most of his songs like kind of trappy and fast? Yeah, it was yeah, then- Completely, when he was Ash Island, he completely changed his style, yeah, he's like, which I don't really get. Yeah. Well, still, it's, I think it's still good. I like both. I, remember I mean, I, I, yeah. I do like both styles, but I want, I'm, I don't know if there's a good story behind this, but I'm wondering what, what made him change styles and hair because and his name. Oh, yeah. He, he was called Cloud and he had blonde hair and his, his rapping was pretty like, bup, 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 like yeah. trappy. And then now it's like singing rap, like a kind of rock singing star rap. kind of. Yeah. I feel like this happened because of a breakup because I feel like the first song that Ash Allen did 
was I mean I don't uh oh, fuck what's it called? Like, like as Ash Island? Like as yeah. Alienair. Uh, as Ash Island when he signed with uh or Alienair uh, Ambition. Ambition, yeah. His first song that he did was it, uh, it, it wasn't like, paranoid, was it? No, it was I think the music video was pretty like it felt like she he had just getting broken up with. It's a nightmare. I don't no, know. that's that was I don't remember, but yeah. anyways, I just felt like this whole thing happened because someone broke up with him. But it could yeah. be a different scenario. In the comments, let us know if you guys know what happened, why Ashline, why Cloud became Ash Island, what happened there. But again, I feel like this can be talked about in the next episode. So. If you guys want to see that episode later or sooner or later, let us know in the comments. Keep pressing the like button. The views will let us know that we want to see more of us. This Tommy as the guest and more K hip hop talk. Uh, but any closing words, Tommy, that you want to say? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's, it was a nice chat. A nice chat. Nice, nice yeah, catching nice up. Catching up. Yeah, exactly. He's been since March. Yeah. Yeah. March last year. Been like, really? Yeah. Was it since March? We talked? Yeah, or in person, I guess. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, Last when I was in Vancouver, yeah. 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 But we're not in Chain person Mo. now, but yeah. Chain Mo. Oh, I yeah. missed those days. Fuck. Yeah. It was actually oh, really, God. really, uh, we were really lucky because that was the last concert that yeah, anyone the next, could go to. The next one's got canceled. Yeah, uh, yeah. So Chain Mo had to sh- cut his tour short. Yeah. So we were pretty lucky in that sense. So, you know what? If like, if he ever or once COVID stops or like, you know, goes away and whenever like, Opie like re, re what you call it? Like opens up his tour again, like restarts it. Restart it again. Yeah. He comes again. back again. I'm going to go. Yeah. I'm gonna go again. Uh, I'll definitely go to a Changmo, another Changmo and Doki and ambition concert. Yeah. Frick. I want to see, I want to see Ash Island perform live. Yeah. I feel like if COVID wasn't a thing to be more of those, concerts coming into canada yes for sure that was fun but yeah nice chat nice talk about uh uh doki Looking forward to the next uh, one. i hope we talked about doki enough in this episode because that's really what i wanted to talk about but yeah all, all all the time when we talk about stuff on podcasts we always go off topic because yeah. i don't have like a script yeah i just kind of go we just kind of go off top so yeah, swing it Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of the John podcast. If you guys have any guests you want to see on the show, let me know in the comments and you'll probably see more of Tommy in the future because we've got some more videos, podcasts, and topics planned. And I, I thank oh, yeah. you Tommy for being on the show. Thank you. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Yes. Peace. Peace out. <laughs>